From near misses to upcoming close calls, here are the top 10 asteroids that will hit Earth in our lifetime. Before we dive into today's video, I just want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Magellan TV. This documentary streaming service has full length documentaries and docu series on so many different topics, and there really is something for everyone. They cover things like science and nature, lifestyle, arts, true crime, ancient history, the list goes on. I promise they have so much stuff. You're bound to find something up your alley and they're constantly adding new titles every week so there's always something new which I love about their service and it's something that always keeps me coming back. Lately with my Magellan TV subscription I watched Killer Asteroid Defending Earth. This is a Magellan original and boy was it relevant to today's list. When we feel threatened by things that are naturally occurring around us we turn to science and technology for the answers on what is happening and how we get through it but what happens when that threat is something bigger than us, like say, I don't know, a miles wide asteroid that is flying through space at insane speeds and hurling right towards us. This documentary dives into the never before seen space missions that are happening right now that are aiming to help protect us in the case of this kind of emergency. Honestly, it was absolutely fascinating. I love all things space and I love hearing these brilliant scientists discuss all of the possibilities. Do you want to find out if we can save Earth from a killer asteroid? Well, the good news is Magellan TV is now offering membership gift cards that are perfect for the holiday season, but are also going to be available all year round. I always say that the gift of an experience or like a membership is always so much better than a gift that's going to clutter your home, which is exactly what makes this the perfect gift for your loved one. Not to mention that a Magellan TV membership is the perfect last minute gift for all of you procrastinators out there. I feel that one. Make sure you click the link down below in the description box to get a 30 day free trial to check out how wonderful Magellan TV is and make sure you check out their new membership gift cards for the holiday season or any special occasion that you've got coming up. All right, let's dive right into this list. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have 3122 Florence. This asteroid is stony. It's approximately five kilometers in diameter, and it even has two of its very own moons. This asteroid was first discovered on March 2nd, 1981 by American astronomer Schelt J. Buss, and it was named in honor of Florence Nightingale. The reason Florence is considered a potentially hazardous object is because of the fact that it has made and will continue to make close approaches to Earth. And and because the measurements of it suggest that it is large enough to cause some serious damage should we end up colliding. On September 1st, 2017, Florence passed us at a distance of 0.047237 astronomical units, approximately 18 times the average distance of the moon. That might seem far, but it truly is getting a little too close for comfort. This was the closest approach the asteroid had to Earth since 1890, and the next approach is coming up on September 2nd, 2057. In our number 9 spot today, we have 2021 QM1. This asteroid was first discovered on August 28th, 2021, and at the time of its discovery, it wasn't of much concern. Follow-up observations, however, revealed something very different. It suddenly rang alarm bells that it might be on a path to a near miss with Earth around 2052. This asteroid is measured at about 50 meters in diameter, which is said to, should it impact Earth, be the equivalent of about 6 megatons of TNT, or 400 times the strength of a nuclear bomb. Just not good and very obviously of concern. To make all the nervous scientists more nervous, shortly after discovery, this asteroid disappeared behind the sun out of their view. They waited patiently and used the very large telescope as much as they could, and when the asteroid peeked out from behind the sun, they were ready, and it was then that they managed to capture an image of the faintest asteroid ever observed. This observation thankfully gave them some very good news. This asteroid likely won't hit Earth in 2052, and for now, for the foreseeable future, it shouldn't be on a collision course with Earth. They however, of course, are going to continue observing it and checking in, just to make sure that continues to be the case. In our number 8 spot today, we have 1997 XF11. We all know, or at least have heard, that the dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid hitting Earth. If an asteroid were to hit Earth now, there is a good chance it would have a similar effect, but this time, 
on us. There have been dozens of asteroids that have nearly missed Earth, and a lot of them have been known and had their paths calculated beforehand to ensure our safety, but there have also been a lot of near misses that weren't seen until right before or sometimes even after the asteroid had already passed. There was five near misses in 2020 alone. In 2028, this asteroid will come extremely close to hitting Earth, but as of right now, scientists believe that it will hopefully miss the planet. If this asteroid were to hit Earth, it would be a mile wide asteroid hitting Earth at about 30,000 miles per hour, which is similar to a 1 million megaton bomb, which would most likely wipe out most of all of the life on Earth. Hope that doesn't happen. Or maybe Elon Musk can send us to Mars by 2028, if he's not too busy with Twitter blue. In our number 7 spot today, we have 2022 AE1. Earlier this year in January, as the year began, scientists were watching an asteroid dubbed 2022 AE1 that became the riskiest one observed in over a decade. The initial observations of this asteroid placed it impacting with Earth on roughly July 4th, 2023, which would mean that there would not be enough time to deflect it and this asteroid was large enough to do some real damage should it strike an area. Yeah, definitely a cause for concern, and also like right before my next birthday. Day, I'd be pissed. There was a week where the moon outshone this asteroid and so experts weren't able to see it and continued tracking the path that it should be on, but once the moon was out of this phase, the risk seemed to have diminished. As of now, this asteroid has been taken off the risk list, but who knows? It seems as though things can change quite quickly and unexpectedly outside the cozy home and protection of our atmosphere. In our number 6 spot today, we have 4179 Tauditus. This elongated stony asteroid is a slow rotator, but that does not not mean it is no cause for concern. Depending on how long you've been on the internet, you might actually be kind of familiar with this asteroid considering it was the focus of a 2004 email chain that falsely claimed that there was a 63% chance that it was going to collide with Earth. First discovered in 1989 by French astronomer Christian Paulus and named after the Celtic god, this asteroid is approximately 2.5 kilometers in diameter. This asteroid is partially of concern due to the fact that it has quite a chaotic orbit and it frequently has close approaches to many planets, of course including Earth. In December of 2012, this asteroid passed within 18 lunar distances of Earth. In 2016, it made another close approach, and the next notably close approach of this asteroid is in 2069. In our number 5 spot today, we have 99942 Apophis. This little asteroid has a diameter of about a fifth of a mile, and it is currently sitting at number 3 on the Palermo scale. The Palermo Technical Impact Scale is a scale that is used by astronomers to rate the potential risk and hazard of impact of a near-Earth object or an NEO. It used the combined information and data of the probability of impact coupled with the estimated kinetic yield, which basically just shows like how likely and how badly an asteroid would mess us up. So back to Apophis. This asteroid is at rank number 3, so it's the third thing we gotta worry about. When it was discovered in 2004, astronomers gave it a 1 in 6 chance of striking Earth in May of 2029 on Friday the 13th of all days. If it doesn't strike Earth, with the naked eye we'll be able to see it pass at a distance of roughly 18,600 miles, but if it does strike Earth, we'll also be able to see it with the naked eye, just at a much closer distance. Because of how close this passing asteroid is going to be, if the asteroid passes us at a slightly different angle than current predictions, there is the possibility of a collision in 2036 or 2069. In our number 4 spot today, we have 4183 Kuno. This asteroid measures about 4 kilometers in diameter and was first discovered in June of 1959 by German astronomer Kuno Hofmeister. This asteroid orbits the Sun at a distance of about 0.7 astronomical units once every Every two years and nine months or 1019 days. This asteroid is about 11 lunar distances from Earth on its closest approaches, which is what landed at the title of a near Earth object and a potentially hazardous asteroid. In the 21st century alone, this asteroid has made close approaches to Earth within 40 million kilometers six different times. The most recent close approach was in May of 2012 when it came within a distance of 0.122 AU, and the next closest 
coolest approach will come in 2093 when it is set to pass at 0.084 AU. In our number three spot today, we have 2020 CD3. In February of 2020, astronomers found 2020 CD3, which is a tiny near Earth asteroid or mini moon that orbits the Sun, but it does make really close approaches to our Earth moon system, and it can even temporarily enter Earth's orbit. It is the second temporary satellite of Earth discovered in situ. Based on its trajectory, this asteroid was captured by Earth around 2016 or 2017, but it likely escaped the gravitational influence of Earth around May of 2020. Even the asteroid didn't want to stick around for the pandemic. This asteroid is likely to make another close pass at Earth in 2044, but it hopefully won't be captured by Earth this time because of its greater approach distance. While this little thing is flying through space and it makes its nice little frequent visits to us, the good news is, is that it is relatively small in terms of asteroids, so it's not like an imminent threat to humanity yet. In our number two spot today, we have 2010 RF-12. This asteroid is one that orbits the sun every 399 days or 1.09 years, and at its closest point, its orbit is startlingly close to Earth's. When this asteroid was first observed, it was actually thought to have the highest probability of striking Earth, but thankfully that number has since dropped in the last few years. Just recently, however, this asteroid had one close approach, with Earth passing at a distance of a little over 10 million kilometers. From now until 20 2095, there is thought to be 13 upcoming close approaches, with the final one being at the very small distance of just 47,000 kilometers. Thankfully, the good news is that this asteroid is on the smaller size when it comes to asteroids, which means that should something go awry and this asteroid were to impact Earth, it likely wouldn't be like the humanity ending destroying asteroid that we all fear. In our number one spot today, we have 153814 or 2001 WN5. This asteroid is classified as a small asteroid, but that does not mean this thing is harmless. Asteroid 2001 WN5 has an orbit that passes that of Earth, making it a near-Earth asteroid, but it is also a potentially hazardous one because of just how close it can get. This asteroid orbits the Sun every 818 days or 2.24 years, and it gets as far away from the Sun as 2.51 astronomical units. Like I mentioned, this guy is classified as a small asteroid, but with a diameter of 0.9 kilometers, it is larger than about 97% of other small asteroids. It is said to be about the size of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is just insane to think about. The pass by Earth that this asteroid is going to make that is concerning to scientists is going to happen on June 26th, 2028. Right now it is projected to be passing at a distance of 248,700 kilometers, but when we're talking about a flying space object, that's just a little too close. It is said that during this close approach, the asteroid will be visible with just binoculars. All right guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Don't forget to hit that link down below in the description to get your 30 day free trial and also check out Magellan TV's new membership gift cards. I've been your host today, Oliva Kozlovsky. I'll see you again soon. Bye.